Hello everyone and welcome to the Rambling Man podcast. I'm your host, the Rambling Man, and I have my first ever guest on the podcast. His name is Carl Riley. How you doing, Carl? Hello. How are we? Uh, so we're going to be talking about football. You're the big Liverpool fan. You're my only. You and Johnny are my two Liverpool fan friends. So I just <laughs> want to know, like, how do you feel from like who is it, Roy Hudson? That's when you were rebuilding again, wasn't it, Roy? Oh Hudson? Jesus Christ! Yeah, that was a lot. Like, that so was... how do you feel from that? From all the managers you've been through. They're having Klopp now and having this like, great success at the moment. Like, it's just, like, for, like, all the pain you've been through and all that, like, you really deserve I should, it. Anyway, like, I'm in pain for, I'm selling oh, it's pain. Like, <laughs> like, Arsenal are just, like, what we want to be now. It's just, like, that's, that's the it. dream. Like, you've been through so much and all. And then just, like, they have a manager like Klopp. I don't know how he managed to get him. Like, because even at the time... It was like I know you did bad. Like you, he still did all right at the end of the season with Dortmund. Two, and all, but two, like, two trophies, wasn't it? Two he league got titles. Uh, he got two title. two uh, Bundesliga titles, and then the next year he won the cup. And he goes, or he won the he won the cup, and then he uh, so yeah, but he took the dominance away from Bayern for a while. Like he took yeah, that like, that's it, like, the thing is, in there they the just buy all the players. Yeah, and they still <laughs> want him now. Like it's mad. Like, Thank we're you, so lucky to get him. Cause it's just like because even you see. Even just the academy players, like the way they played against Everton, it's like it's the whole mentality has gone through, and it's why they're selling Melwood as well. It's like he wants to go and do training senior players with the academy players and just have it all in the one system. Yeah. And, all. and he said that as well with his contract extension, like he wants to stay on for a successor. Like when he's yeah. done, like it's not just going all to waste, like Ferguson did. Like, and do you think it'd be Gerrard? Do you think that's going to be their option to go? The, wide? Like at the moment, he's doing pretty well up there in Rangers. Yeah, doing a like, really at good the moment, job. like it's still it's. It's good now having Jared like that, but it's still early to say. I think like at the moment it's going to be Pep Linders, like the way he's playing yeah. with them, like he knows the whole mentality of the club and all. So I think it's just an easy job, especially the way the Premier League's going. So like give it to the assistant manager now, like it's kind of that way. The, when I was watching the old farm derby there, Rangers looked really, really good. They absolutely dominated the game back yeah. and front. I actually missed it now, but just even the passion from Gerard, like yeah, it was it's... like. It was like he wasn't even a scout. Like it was like he was from like if he was a Rangers yeah. player and all like the passion. He I was kind of like that. no, like everyone has like you can't support Rangers and this and that and like kind of like people go along and like kind of like that. It's the whole whatever. kind of religion it's, thing. I yeah. was watching. I was like, geez, Rangers like they were really good. Like I never yeah. they were better than said. All Celtic were doing was just hoofing the ball and trying yeah. to say, and Rangers passing them out to fifty chance after chance. I don't know. Well, I think it was what was it? I think it was two one, mm. two one and. I think they're nearly they were, had a game in hand the last time I checked and if they win that they go top like and I don't know I think they really do win win here anyway we'll go back to that Liverpool where Hudson so you had Hudson what was it Kevin Douglas yeah Hudson then you Kenny and Kenny wasn't too bad like, well he was kind of just kind of like, steady kind of yeah, like well, and let's see even like win them a cup at that time like I know it's a Mickey Mouse cup and all but it was like you were delighted at the time mm. you didn't see trophies since like what 2005 2005 the, wasn't it the FA Cup was it no ch- six uh, could have been FA Cup wasn't it what? Oh, I can't remember now to be honest but man, it was a good while anyway that's another like, cup I don't really kind of get involved until like I'm in the final or kind of yeah. get into the semis or quarter finals like um, I know that time when you sold Suarez like did you think that was you was going to go backwards again or did you think it was the right like, thing to do like being deadly honest like the way it was going is like you're losing Suarez but it's like you have all this money it was the same thing with Spurs at Bale you're like okay like they here we go they spent it though on Trash. I know. The only like, Ericsson like, I think Roger is the only one. With Spurs as well, like it's like you have this. You should win the league with like hundred million now. Yeah. But it's just it's way investment. more now though. Jeez, like it's like the, I think the only player we have now, like we've got Lalana from then, and uh, to be honest, I can't remember who else would be there from back then, because we got like Sacco, we got Sacco, Ilari, uh Moreno. Oh, I think we got. Did we get Mingle out of that? No, no he was there before. before. Yeah, I was looking at his previous, t- his first ever team. It was shocking. I remember yeah. seeing it was shocking. Oh, it was, it was, so remember, you had the best left back in the world, Sissoko. <laughs> oh my god! Like, it was rotten. Like. <laughs> oh my god! How it's like people go on a bit like just even like the Jared slip it up, but like it's just the way that whole defense was at like, the whole season. I thought it was Colo Torre. As much as I love Colo Torre, him and Mingale were the main reason we lost the league. Like, and he wasn't that great. Like, he was, dreadful. He was at his decline. Like, I don't know how oh, yeah, he yeah. got. How he got. Oh, he's good to have like, experience, but like he was starting most of the season. Yeah. Like, it was wasn't going. That work. was your big problem for ages. Your centre backs and your goalkeeper. Like, they yeah. were, once you once you got Van Dijk in and once you got um, what's the keeper's name? Oh, Allison. Allison. Oh, it was incredible. Like. That was it. It was over then. I think that was when you realised that this is it. This is the team now to like, go off and win. Even comparing like both the seasons to each other, like from if you compare 
when we were in the final against Madrid and in the final we were in against Spurs. Yeah. It was like they backed up that fence. Like I know you had Van Dijk already there. Yeah. But then like Matip Van Gomez really stepping up and you've Allison there. Yeah. Like we played a different kind of game because so it's more about the counter attacking because like the defence is not good. But now it's like they're holding possession, they're playing long balls at the wing, there's the cross and an all from Alexander Arnold and Robertson, like like it's not just one dimension, there's yeah. no plan A, there's like plan Z there. Like it's there's a load you can do with that team. And when was the last time you just lost again? Was against Man City? I think yeah, it was Man City, it's three hundred it's a whole year now we've gone without losing. It's like third of January. Then you think you go to season on being? I'm gonna say yeah, but I don't know. Well, like, I, I if you can get to yeah, now, anyway, if you can get to draw, yeah, we taught him now. Like I Jose, think, like that, he he'd come in with a bit. Of, he'd be real defensive. I think. I think he's gonna. Yeah, hold should be awkward, but away, I'd like. say we can get a draw anyways, and it's at home as well. So home? it's at home. I'm pretty sure now. I think maybe I'm wrong. Did you not beat them already? Well, I don't know actually. I think so many games I've missed. I just haven't really. Got the time to go yeah. back on any of them, like. Oh no, we're away. Yeah, sorry. He's away. Oh, like, yeah, still, but he's still be down. Like, it's he'll still be defensive though. Yeah, so. if it was like you're like it's Spurs, but at the same time it's Jose against Liverpool. Like he knows what to do. Just pack the bus. Yeah. Like even that team now is very old. Like they need to kind of regenerate their whole squad nearly. Mm. Like the only person I think he could keep there. Look, it looks like they're going to lose Ericsson. I think he's going to be gone. It looks yeah, like there's already a lot of talks of him this January, like to get rid of. Well, they need. They're going to lose money. So like. weak as well. Like yeah, for Tonga and yeah, what's well, some like, They're like the strongest. They're the strongest like defense in the league. What like three, four years ago, and yeah. it's the same defense. Like it's. You got Aurier there, who's not not near the level that Walker was for them, and all like it's God, just. Oh no, he's yeah. Danny Rose over well past it, like. Um, and you know what about Sterling? Where's your feelings on Sterling as a Liverpool fan when all that came kind of about? Like, still a bit sour, but like, would you take him if you couldn't have any of them, one of them, but have Sterling then? Would you do it though? Out of the three, out of your three now, would you put? Would you replace any of them with Sterling out? At the moment, yeah, I don't know which one to swap though. Because like, you don't I'm have, you don't, if you don't have, though. if you can't have, even if you don't, you don't have to swap. Yeah. Would you Would you even think about swapping them in there? Like just because of the way you treat it, doesn't it? Well, I don't know. I've never really felt like how you felt as Liverpool fan with Sterling because I did, like, all I know he's left for money. That was the thing I think I heard. That, that's yeah, one like of his it's, reasons. He said it's trophies. fairly like since you like it's it's the same talk like would you have Coutinho back and all like but uh, I don't know yeah. like it it is it's the same way they were treated yeah. like the way he went out was with his agent was just trying to screw us over to yeah. get his money and get out so like personally I think like he's a good player and all but like you can get another Sterling like it's yeah. not he's not irreplaceable like it's kind of like when we lost Van Persie though yeah uh, like it was like he was oh, hot like, goal the scorer team we had left, like, and then he geez. took him. And then they won the league, and you're thinking, if you could have just stayed with us, mm. we could have won the league. Yeah. And maybe that could happen. You maybe could have won the league a bit earlier with Sterling, I don't know. But like mm. now he's unbelievable. Pep tournament. Apparently, Atletico was a big involvement with Sterling. Yeah. Apparently, he was the one that put an arm around him and told him like to get the ball quick, or get it finished his end product. That's why a lot of people were, uh, like, who said it? Xavi Alonso said it. Um, Pochettino said it. Pep said it. That Arteta is going to be one of the like top coaches. Yeah, in the world lately, and he, that's one of his ta- the thing is that he puts an arm around a lot of players. He has the time to take individuals and get it. And like you see, David Luiz now he's looking mm. unbelievable now. I don't mm. know how where he got that. Like from. even like I still wasn't like it's a new job. Like he was assistant coach at and stuff. As it is like you don't know how much credit you can give yeah. him. But even with the Arsenal job there, like I haven't seen too much of him now. But even just the game against Leeds, like how bad they were in the first, first half, half, and then seeing him in the second half, like there was a lot of creativity there. Like that. Could, yeah. He obviously, he uh, obviously said like some words in, in the interview. Know, he like said um, he shouted a lot at us because yeah. he said he has. He goes, we didn't respect what he said to us, and then we realised that Leeds were um, like they were really, really good. Why don't oh, you can't we underestimate them. Leeds? Like they had like nine shots and we had one in like twenty yeah. minutes. Like it was absolutely ridiculous. Mm. And then, um, and then we were talking about the Carabao Cup before this. Um, do you think the top six teams should still be in, or do you think it should just be a battle between? Like the kind of lower end, but I think give it a better chance to get them Europa League. Like you know, get yeah. Like I'd rather see like, like you know when even Swansea won it, and then Swansea are getting in the Europa League. Yeah. It's like oh, Dell you get yeah, Swansea. Something like that's like, what I think is pretty cool. That's right? more exciting than like you're not like getting your Man United again and like 
Chelsea, whatever. No yeah, but like even it. when you win it, like when it's your team that wins it, you're like, oh yeah, nice one. But like I remember even when we were in the final against City there, what a few years ago, like yeah. it was Klopp's first season with us, we got yeah. in the final, and it was penalties, and it was like, all right, come on, let's come on, let's you can get this. And as soon as we lost, I was kind of like, all right, not yeah. not even that take. Like that's when I was, I was expecting to be raging, well. but it's just. That was like me when Man City and Arsenal were playing the Carling Cup. It's like, yeah, it's, ah, right. I know we're going to lose. You're but happy like, when you win it, but like you don't care at all when you lose, lose it. And it like, no. If you're a Swansea fan and you see your team winning that, like you'd be delighted. And even like with Liverpool like back in 2011, just because we were, had such a dry spell, like yeah. it was exciting. But like when you're as good as you are now, like yeah. I could, like even when we got battered five nil, like I couldn't care less. And the way like you had so much heartbreak from that final, the Europa League final, Champions League final, to then actually winning it. Yeah. Look like you're gonna win the league. I can't see you cannot like not win the league. It's yeah. Like I don't know where you're gonna drop points. There's nowhere I can see if I look at the fixtures now. Yeah, because even the Sheffield game points. there, like I'm just watching there, and it's like right, it's Sheffield like. We struggled against them last time and all, and it was like it was one of the best games I've seen us play. We were incredible, and it's like even compared to the start of the season to now, it's like they look a lot more confident. There's a lot of stuff they can get out of it, like because I know it spells like Manny and Salah can like one of them can yeah. have an off day and all, but like they're just all looking solid now. They're all like, when was the last time you ever had an off day? When did you ever actually say these are all playing bad? Like, no, oh, no, no, but like it's the thing as well. Like a lot of players, I've seen someone criticizing how like none of them are in the top scorer list, like because. Well, it's, it's a bomb yang, you've Danny Ings, uh, yeah, Rashford, the likes of that, and you've no City or you've no City or Liverpool players like in the top five, I think it was. But it's like it's because if one of them has an off day, then like another team's car- players carry yeah. it. Like between like Mane and Salah, like Mane, Salah, and uh, Firmino, I think it was like thirty-seven goals between the three of them, and none of them are in top scorers. Like just because like if one of them's having a bad day, like one yeah. of them just can't get their confidence is gone. Like even seen like. Salah against Leicester there, like he just wasn't working for him and he got taken off. Mane and Firmino carried it as well as Trent, like Yeah. You use so many players to do that, like if yeah. I look at Arsenal right now, there's no player where I can say Yeah, if you take a bomb young that like he's gonna carry you, you probably have to rely on like lack like of he, has, Pepe, he hasn't like, scored in a while. Yeah. Pepe, like I said, he does this thing where he stops too much and then mm. he kinda of fiddles around and then he tries to do it. He he did yeah. more and against Leeds. He did he it more against us when he kept, when he dribbled past Van yeah. Dyke and it's like, Oh my god, he dribbled past Van yeah. Dyke and straight away like he just it looked like he got. He's like, oh my god, I drove yeah. past my like, what do I do now? And he lost it straight away. Like, it's like that with Awobi. That's when we got rid of Awobi. Mm. I was kind of mixed by it, but then I realised he'd been there so long, and his end product just always letting down. It was always that last little bit. I think Pepe now, he has it there. You can see the goals he scored now. They're all pretty good goals. No yeah. happens by the penalty, but still, like, then two free kicks. Mm. The one against Manchester United, and then um, when, oh, one against Wolves as well. Like, he yeah. just bend them in with his left foot. Like, yeah. Because I could actually be a bit scared of playing him next time. Because, like, yeah. even after that game there at Leeds, like, I think his confidence could go up. Like, he could yeah. just... Next season, he could be something serious. I hope so. I hope it's not, like, people say second season syndrome where, like, it's I don't think he will be all now. the games that like, he's played, like... Uh, I think I think he'd be a star, like, next I hope season. so. I've prayed 70 million. Yeah, like... <laughs> Sky put it up as a miss. As but a then they put... Um, Maguire as a hit. A hit. It's like, where are they in the league? They're, like, so well yeah. behind there in the league. Where are they? They're sixth... You paid eighty million. Look at Van Dyke. You paid se- around the same, and look what he did straight away. He yeah. proved the whole team straight <laughs> like away. He got us the Champions League final. Champions League final. Two Champions League finals with him, like. And then yeah. that my last gem was the goalkeeper win them too. When I was watching that game, the heart went by my mouth when I seen him doing that. Like the when he oh, did pass it to Benzema, I was like, I was like, oh my god! When the keeper passed it to Benzema. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? I and was watching that in the pub with like and that punch. Oh, I was watching God. it with Johnny. No, it wasn't Johnny. No, you were no it mates. wasn't Johnny. No, not that you. I was watching it with my mates, and it's all like my mates wearing Real Madrid jerseys, all United fans, yeah. and watching that. Too, it's just my heart sunk. It was rotten. Like right, we're going to take a quick break here, and then we're back with the second part. Thank you for listening.